Good evening folks, welcome to another episode of Beer Reading with Sean Connors. As you can see, I got a lager with me today, and this is from Prince Edward Brewing Company in, I believe, Picton, Ontario. Yep, it's called Socks and Jandals, J-A-N-D-A-L-S. A Czech style lager coming in at 5.0%. It says dry hopped. And it says a light malty body brewed with Czech Irex, I-R-E-K-S, plus a generous dry hop of New Zealand Motuka, M-O-T-U-E-K-A. Create a bright, aromatic, crisp lager beer. And the newsletter, this is one of the ones from the Bear Club, so it does tell me a little bit about the beer. And pretty well just what I got. This is a dry hop Pilsner style lager, brewed with the refreshing quality of a European lager combined with New World Southern Hemisphere New Zealand hop flavor and aroma. Motika hop imparts notes of fresh gra cut grass and lime zest, zest. And it says, fun fact, Jandals is sandals in New Zealand. All right, so I'll already give my glass a quick cold water rinse. Really light color here. Super light color for a, a beer. A little bit of foam there, not a lot. Socks and sandals, even on the back of it, actually. Well, um, a little bit of graphics on the back. You couldn't see it earlier. A sandal getting upset that there's a sock going in there. Alright, so let's see. Ooh, it's quite hoppy, for, especially for a lager. Like just from the aroma alone, if I didn't know what I was drinking, I would be thinking, okay, I'm definitely drinking an IPA. And it's pretty cloudy, so obviously it's unfiltered. Let's see how it tastes. Definitely got a bit of an IPA taste, but not as strong with the hoppiness. But you, you, know, you smell the hop, the, the aroma is a lot, the hoppy aroma is stronger than the hoppy taste. But there is a hoppy taste. Um, but it is fairly easy drinking, with that being said. As I said, it is a lager, Czech style lager. But honestly, I've never had any lagers or Czech-style Czech lagers that taste as hoppy as that. Um, it even has a hoppy aftertaste that kind of lingers in your mouth, and that I'm not a big fan of. However, hoppy beers, especially IPAs and double IPAs and whatnot, originally I didn't like them at all, wasn't a fan. However, I find they kind of grow on you after a while where you actually start to crave them. So it's not, a, if I had to taste this two years ago, I would have not been a fan at all. But now, I don't mind them. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the hoppy aftertaste. But again, it's fairly easy drinking. Um, just trying, as I'm talking, I'm also trying to think, okay, where do I rate this out of five? With a one being a drain pour, a two is mm, not a fan, but I'll finish it. A three is a good beer, a, a four is a very good beer, and a five would be the best beer ever. Quite honestly, I think I'd go for a three means it's a good beer. Um, I'd never turn it down. I'm enjoying it. I don't think it's a beer that I'd be going, oh wow, I can't wait to have another. But I am enjoying it. I'd never turn one down. Somebody, uh, if they were big IPA fans, I'd add... I'd want them to try just to get their opinion with the hoppiness of a lager. Be interested to see what they think. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get. get a, I think I'm gonna stick with the 3.0. I think if the hoppy aftertaste wasn't as strong, I'd probably boost it with 3.5. But just because of that um, aspect of it, I think I'm gonna stick with my 3.0. So you go, folks, for the socks and jandals, jandals, sandals, jandals, from Prince Edward Brewing Company. 
3.0. Hope you can join me next couple days. We'll uh, hit the fridge and see what else we got. Until next, bro, as always, enjoy responsibly. Cheers.